Here we have sine to the fourth power x minus cosine to the fourth power x. Well, yes, both terms are in terms of sine and cosine already, so there's nothing that we need to do for that, right? But what can we do to get this to be the same as one of these right here, right? Hmm. Well, we have a difference of two terms. So I suspect that we may be able to factor this out. And also because we have the fourth power, yes, I can just go ahead and use the difference of two squares formula to factor it out, right? But before I do that, I have to set it up first. So to do so, let me show you. For the sine to the fourth power x, I will have to write this as sine square x and then square like this, right? You see, we can multiply the powers and we can get a 4 back right here. And the reason I have to do this is because I need to look at this as a square and then minus b square. So I can use the difference of two squares formula to factor it out. Alright, I'll continue. I'll say this is minus, and as I said, I'll put on parentheses something square. And for this parentheses inside, I will have to rewrite this as cosine square x. And then when I take this, square that, I get that back. Alright, so we can continue. a squared minus b squared, this is the a, this is the b. We know the formula will be a minus b times a plus b, right? So that's the formula to factor that out. Let's write that down. Sine squared x for the a, and then we minus the b, which is that. Cosine squared x, and then we have the second part, a plus b. a is sine squared x, so let's put that down right here. And then we add it with the b, which is cosine square x, right? So right here, cosine square x. So we factor this out. But what can we do next? Do we have any identity for sine square x minus cosine square x? Well, not as I know of at the moment, right? How about this? Sine square x plus cosine square x. Yes, we do have a really nice identity, isn't it? This is just equal to 1. In another word, we just have this quantity times 1, which is still just this quantity, isn't it? So at the end of the day, this is just the same as sine square x minus cosine square x. And you see the crazy thing is, yes, earlier we start with the fourth power minus the fourth power. And in fact, in this situation, it's the same as the square minus the square, right? It's just because this works out like that. And the answer will be choice A, sine square x minus cosine square x, and that's what we have at the moment. That's it.